new friends, good dogs, and plenty of birds. This is the recipe for a great day in the field. On this episode, I team up with Clark's Outdoors as we head to southern Iowa in search of big roosters. With lots of birds in the area, we had plenty of opportunities, and we made sure to capitalize on them. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's episode. That little pocket of brush right there. Yeah, walk through that. Good girl. Good girl. Luna here. That's a hen. Good girl. Yeah, they like to hang out in here. Like that. They like to hang. Yep. Well, we Luna! The bird! Back! I don't know how far out that was. There you go, good girl. Good girl, here. Dead. Yeah, there's one. Good girls. Yep, we're gonna go up there and we'll just have you right on the edge of that berm there. I'll kind of walk the center here and... Where's the berm at? Uh, you'll, it's 40 yards ahead of us here. Go. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Here. 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 Ah, don't no, drop him. Drop. All right, making good progress so far. The two down. That one kind of flush right in between us. Thankfully he's got good situational awareness and didn't shoot me, so. All right, you ready? We're just gonna start heading this way now. Yeah, that was uh, kind of a weird one. Got right up between us. It flew around my backside, so that whole time I was turning and spinning and kind of a kind of an awkward shooting stance, but. I think I'll root 
Or? Yeah, I think it was. Luna here. That sun, I couldn't tell. Good girl, Luna. Good girl. Uh, got that one up. Couldn't tell what it was. It didn't cackle or anything. I got my hand up to block the sun. You could see that it was it was a rooster. So missed opportunity on that one, but I'd rather not pull the trigger on a rooster versus shooting a hen. So <clears throat> there's plenty of birds out here. So. Yeah, he got hit. Did it go down? I don't know. This bird flushed a bit early on us, so I ended up taking a 35 yard or so poke at it, but just barely clipped it. We spent the better part of 15 minutes working the dogs in that area, but they never even came across a mild scent of the bird. So with how light that bird was hit, I'm pretty confident he lived to fly another day. This was our third and final field of the day. I've had pretty good success here in the past and I knew this field was holding quite a few birds still. So what better way to end our day than here? I love how she thinks she hears something and then goes. <laughs> I thought I was pretty sure she actually saw something. Hen, hen, hen. Good girl, Anna. Good girl. Okay. All right, <laughs> slow flyer. Yeah, you need to put orange on their tail. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they used to put bells on them, and uh, boy, that got annoying real quick. So yeah. I don't know if you watch some of my old stuff. We put bells on our dogs too. Hey, get in there. <laughs> Yeah, it's annoying, and then we also thought maybe it was scaring the birds away. Yeah, and I've always wondered that too, because it's like they can definitely hear it. So, rooster, rooster, yes. Rooster, rooster, yes. Luna. Following the tall stuff here. There's somewhere I thought. Good girl. Good girl. Good one. Good girl. Hell yeah. Good girl, Luna. Good girl, Luna. Good girl. That sucker was running. Good girl. I think I'll find it for you. I Good promise. Girl. Good girl. Yeah, I think he's done now. Beautiful bird. That's a good tail feather too. That is a good That's tail. That's a long one. Sheesh. That's that Man, Southern bro. Iowa rooster right there. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful birds. Hell yeah. Getting a little disappointed on the car you went that pitch stuff. It looked like you got a pretty solid shot on it, so. It was running though. Yeah. Because when she, <laughs> she just set him down in front of me, she's like, I did my job. <laughs> there you go, grab it.
Dead bird, find him. Find him. Find him. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, here. Good girl. Drop, drop. Good, good job. That's my good girl. Hell yeah. That's got some color to it. Get it out in the sun there. That's a beautiful bird. You can get a pretty good hook on him too. Nice. Heck yeah. I guess I'll wait till you get your <laughs> bird in there. Missed Oop, it. Missed it. <laughs> I don't wear this vest very often. There it is. Good right girl. Heck yeah. Got it. So like I had said earlier, this hunt took two years to make happen. But at the end of the day, it was well worth the wait. I got to spend time getting to know a like-minded individual that shares the same passion as me for the great outdoors. We put a lot of miles in, shared some laughs, and ended the day with a few birds in the vest. I enjoyed my time getting to know Clark's outdoors, and I'm looking forward to hunting with him again in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you love to subscribe, and do me a favor and check out Clark's Outdoors YouTube. Link's in the description below. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.